Hello friends, this tutorial has been highly requested and it is a simple way to combine Mixamo animations in Blender. We're going to blend the idle animation, star walking animation, and cine animation from Mixamo. For this tutorial, I'm using the wide character from Mixamo for clarity. You have to make sure you use the same character for all the animations to keep the bone dimensions the same and make sure the frame rate is also the same. So first we're going to download the animations, and then download the character in T-Pose. Once that's done, open Blender. I'm using version 3.3. Select everything in the scene and delete. Now go to File, Import, and import all the animations that were downloaded, including the T-Pose. To keep things simple, separate them and rename them for clarity. Also expand the timeline to easily see the keyframes. Now select the idle animation. You'll see the keyframes in the timeline and right click to copy the keyframes. Then click on the T-Pose bone. Right click and paste the keyframes in the timeline. The T-Pose character now has the same keyframes as the idle character. We don't need the idle character anymore so we can delete it. And now we click on the start walking character. Copy the keyframes and paste them at the end of the idle animation in the T-Pose character timeline. You want to slide the keyframes to a point that looks natural. Also increase the number of frames on the timeline to see the entire animation. Once that's done, you can delete the original walking character. Now copy all the keyframes from the sitting character and paste it in the timeline of the Tipos character after the walking animation keyframes. We can delete the original sitting character. But you will see that when you press play, the character snaps back to its origin point. To fix that, go to the left and select the graph editor. Now go to Mixamo hips and select the Z location. Then click Shift H to isolate the curve. Expand and zoom out of the graph editor until the full curve height is revealed. Select the sitting down section of the curve and raise the curve to connect it with the rest of the curve. Ensure the angle is correct for best results. Press play to make sure you like the animation. Now go back to the timeline sequencer. Press play to see the total animation from beginning to end. Now there are other ways to combine the animations in Blender, but I found this to be the simplest and easiest to follow with the fastest results. If you like this tutorial, please subscribe. It really helps the channel grow and there's more content coming your way.